good day. Today we're going to be focusing on how to export an inventor model out to an STL file so that way it properly scales uh, for your additive manufacturing machine or 3D printer uh, if you'd like to utilize that terminology. Inventor has had problems over the years exporting properly to an STL. What happens is, is that the inventor file, when a file is saved out as an STL, the problem is, excuse me, let me go ahead and do a save copy as so we can show you that you can export directly to an STL. The problem is, is that when you export to an STL, it previously and currently exports as in centimeters, which is a very odd unit of dimension to export to, seeing that you're typically working in inches or millimeters for most design models. So the issue comes, well, how can I export an STL to the proper scale? And so Autodesk has built in a print service preview capability, which allows you to, which provides more control in the way that you can export your model. So let's go through that process. So we have our basic model. Under Inventor, we go to the print. And under the print, there's 3D Print Preview. And so this 3D Print Preview basically gives us the ability to see the part, see what the facets look like, the triangulation of the part model, and the most important component is the options. Because the options allow us to set the units before we send to the save of an STL out of this print preview service. We can also set it to the source units, which in essence that's what should that should be the default. If you create the model in millimeters, it should default and output in millimeters. If you create the model in inches, it should default to the source units and create it in inches. Typically you don't necessarily want unit conversion to happen with an STL product. Nonetheless, it's best to set it to, to the source units so that way it utilizes the current units that you designed the model in. Keep your resolution as high. Low resolution modeling produces fewer facets, produces a um, rougher surface texture um, overall. On the simple part it wouldn't matter, but if it was a complex uh, shape part it would matter. So keep your resolution as high. Choose OK. You really don't have to worry about the surface deviations, max edge lengths, and aspect ratios for uh, most 3D printer outputs. Choose the OK option. There's a button up here at the top that says Save Copy As, and that Save Copy As will allow us to save the copy of an STL file out to our folder. The same options will pop up with the options as the Save Copy As. But many people don't hit that options and don't select the source units, so the output is inevitably incorrect. Hit the Save button. That solves the problem of updating your STL file output and keeping it consistent with your design dimensions. This has been a really fast, quick hit video on STL outputs. Have a great day.